So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just check to make sure you don't already have Java installed on your system. And to do that, all you need to do is run the following command. So Java dash version. And if you have Java, it will show you the version of the Java you have installed. In my case, I don't have one. So I get this command here that tells me that there is no such a file or directory. The next thing you want to do is run this command apt install default JDK and that will install the default Java available for your operating system. Now, if you are running on Debian like me, that's probably going to be an older Java. In my case, that will be Java version 11. I will show you after this installation is completed, I'll show you how to install a specific version of Java. Now, one thing that I forget to mention is if you're not sure if you need to install the Java development kit or Java runtime environment, it's always safer to go with the Java development kit as the development kit also contains the Java runtime environment and it will make sure that you have both installed on your system. So in my case, I run Java development kit. I like to do that by default. That way I'm covered in case I need to compile something. And once the installation has completed successfully, you can go ahead and run Java dash version again, and that will show you the version of Java that was just installed. And in my case, you can see that the default version for Debian at this time is Java 11. To install a specific version of Java, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and check what versions are available on your operating system. So you can go ahead and run the following command app dash cache space search space open JDK and with that command you get a list of all available versions of Java and in my case since I'm on Debian I'm only having 17 and 11 but if you're on Ubuntu for example you're probably gonna have more versions available to you in my case again on Debian I only have 11 and 17 and since the 11 was the default version that we already have installed I'm gonna go ahead and install the version 17 just so you can see how we can have two versions at the same time and how to switch between them. So first time I installed the Java development kit, this time I'm gonna go ahead and install just the Java runtime environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy from here the name of the package and to install it, all I have to do is run apt install the name of the package and hit enter. And once the installation have completed successfully again, you can go ahead and run Java dash version. And as you can see, now we have Java 17 installed in our system and it's set as our default Java. And to confirm which Java is your default, all you need to do is run this command here, update dash alternative space dash dash config Java. And with this command, we can see now that we have two versions, Java 17 and Java 11 installed in our system. And we can see that Java 17 is set as a default version. To change that, all you need to do is once you run the update alternatives dash dash config Java command, all you have to do is enter the number of the Java that you want to be set up as a default one. So let's switch it back to Java 11. So I'm going to go ahead and select number one here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now if I run Java dash version, we'll see that our Java is set to version 11 instead of 17 as it was after we installed version 17. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to install Java version that is not available for your operating system. So if you are on Ubuntu, you probably have version 21 available as of the recording of this video. But unfortunately on Debian, that version is not available yet. And to install that, what I'm going to do is the easiest way is to go ahead and just download it for from Oracle, for example. And so to do that, you can go to Oracle's website and from there you can go ahead and get the link to the latest version that you want to download for your operating system. Again, I'm on a Debian based Linux. So I'm going to select here Linux and I'm going to download the package for Debian. So to do that, you can go ahead, right click here and copy the link. And then on your system, you can go ahead and run wget and then paste that link. And that will download the latest Debian package for your system. And then after you do that, you can just go ahead and run dpkg-i followed by the name of that package. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And this will go ahead and install the latest Java 22 on your system.
Now, one thing here I want to mention is in case you get an error here that tells you that you're missing some dependencies, all you have to do is the following command and that should fix all of your errors. So the command is apt-f install. In my case, I didn't get any errors, so I'm not going to run the command. But just so you know, if you get any errors while you're running the dpkg command, this is how you're going to fix it. So now that I have this installed, I'm going to go ahead again and run Java version. As you can see, my default version is still 11, but we already have version 22 installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run the update alternatives command. And with this command, now you can see that we have a third version of Java on our system, and that is JDK 22. And to switch to it, you can select number three or zero as it's listed twice here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick number three. And now if I go ahead and run Java dash version, and we'll see that our deferred version is version 22. Now, one thing I need to mention here is, if you remember, we installed the default version, version 11 was also Java development kit. What you want to do is when you switch the version with update alternatives dash dash config Java, that switches the version only for your Java runtime environment. Now to switch the version for your compiler for your Java development kit, you're going to want to run the same command, but instead of config Java, you're going to do Java C. So that will switch the version of your compiler. So I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, we have version 11. That was the JDK that we installed as the default. And then we have Java 22. So as of right now, the enabled one is 22. I'm going to go here and switch it for to 11, just so you can see how that goes. And if I go ahead and run this again, you see that the version that's set to default is our version 11. And if I go and run this for our Java development kit, you see that it's still on 22. So these two are separate. So make sure you keep those together to make sure that they're all aligning, unless of course you need the your compiler to be a different version of your runtime environment. But in my case, I wanna keep them the same. So I'm gonna go ahead here and put number one. And that way now both of them will be the same. We have it set, our Java development kit is set to 11 and our compiler is also set to 11. And this is how it's done. It's a pretty easy process. If you have any questions or any comments, please let me know in the comments under the video. If you want to see more of my videos, please go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.